as if we ever needed to find an excuse to eat candy, this video might just give you one. The new gym craze is a dose of your favorite sugary sweet to get you going for a strong session. But why are people turning to candy and what is the science behind it all? Stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Five Pillars Health, the channel where we show you how to get healthy and stay healthy through the five pillars of sleep, sunlight, nutrition, hydration, and movement. Let's start with why people take pre-workouts in the first place. Our normal three meals don't always provide us with the instant energy boost we need to work out to the best of our ability. Pre-workout is a type of easy to digest supplement that spikes your blood sugar. If we took pre-workout without working out, that energy would be stored as fat. Pre-workout is usually a form of simple carbohydrate. Simple carbohydrates are carbs that can be easily broken down into glucose, which is what your body uses as its primary fuel source for all functions. This differs from complex carbohydrates, which digest more slowly. The exercise science between simple carbohydrates is that when we're lifting weights or doing cardio, our bodies tap into this primary fuel source known as glycogen. Your fuel tank of glucose slash glycogen from your meals can quickly empty, and if we don't eat again, we could feel weak, tired, and not able to work out as hard as we did in the beginning of our workout. This is where simple carbohydrates, or simple sugars, come in. They can get converted into glycogen in as little as 5 to 10 minutes after ingestion, so that the energy tank fills up a lot quicker than it would from other food sources. It's therefore no surprise that candy quickly became a pre-workout trend as it is basically pure glucose. It began as a TikTok trend, where gym goers used sour candy as their pre-gym pump. It started out with sour strips, where one TikToker reported eating an entire packet before her session. Many traditional pre-workouts also have the addition of caffeine for maximum energy in the gym. Caffeine is known as ergogenic acid, or a performance enhancer, in both cardio and strength training. It increases muscular strength, endurance, and power. It also enhances focus and alertness, so you can properly focus on your form when strength training. It's also been shown to improve throwing, jumping, and sprinting. Drinking black coffee has become a form of pre-workout because it spares glycogen stores, unlike sugar, and uses fat as fuel, which for people looking to lose weight or fat might be a good idea. Other benefits of caffeine include boosting your metabolism, which makes you burn more calories throughout the day, and affecting your central nervous system, meaning it can change your perception of effort. In other words, you're actually working harder than you think you are and can therefore train for longer. Whether you're a caffeine or a sugar fan, the timing of either of them as a pre-workout is essential. Candy, or your preferred form of sugar, gets absorbed right away, so it needs to be consumed about 30 minutes before exercise. Having your sugar boost an hour before exercise means you might crash during the workout. Caffeine pre-workout is similar, but you should consume it 45 to 60 minutes before a workout. This allows for the caffeine to fully get absorbed into your bloodstream for maximum efficacy. Want to know more about coffee and whether or not it's right for you? Check out our channel for more info. At Five Pillars, we like to promote the most natural and sustainable options to our community. If you'd like to hop on the candy as a pre-workout trend, we suggest opting for healthier candy. Nowadays, many companies and consumers are becoming aware of the negative side effects of candy. Processed sugar, colorants, preservatives, and nasty additives can all wreak havoc on your health and increase overall bodily inflammation. Sugar is fine in moderate amounts, but candy packs a big punch of the highly processed form. Not only can it lead to unhealthy weight gain and put you at risk for diabetes, but it can rot your teeth, put you at higher risk for heart disease, increase your risk for type 2 diabetes, cause acne, depression, premature skin aging, fatty liver, fatigue, and put you at a higher risk for developing cancer. With this information in mind, certain brands have come out with candy sweetened with honey and fruit juices, and coloured naturally using turmeric and other natural dyes from fruits. These healthier candy options can be found at most commercial grocery stores, and include all your favourites, like sour worms, gummies, lollipops and more. 
The downside is that they do cost quite a bit more than regular candy, but if it's a treat and something to enjoy every now and then, whether for gym or nostalgia, we say go for it. The best alternative to candy, and even healthier candy, is good old nature's candy. Certain fruits and fruit juices can pack the same amount of easily available fuel that candy does. A glass of freshly squeezed juice can do the trick, or concentrated sugary fruits like dates or dried fruit, without sulfur of course. Just one date has 5 grams of sugar, and one dried fig is about the same. We at Five Pillars would suggest using these guys as a pre-workout option instead of sour candy. If it's sour you're going for, why not try a dried sour cherry and see if your sugary and sweet craving is satisfied. If you've enjoyed this video so far, please tap the like button for us. We'd appreciate it. Keeping in theme with the natural option, many fitness influencers are promoting honey as the new trend in pre-gym fuel. Studies have shown that honey is one of the most effective carbohydrates to ingest before a training session. This is because honey is easily digestible and steadily released into your system, so it might make a better option than candy as the sugar in candy is quickly ingested and quickly used up. Of course, we suggest using raw honey, as pasteurised honey acts much the same as regular sugar and doesn't hold the antibacterial and antioxidant properties of raw honey. Although pre-workout is obviously taken before a workout, it might be a good idea to use it mid-workout too. We've already laid out the shelf life of these simple carbohydrates, and if your training session exceeds an hour, it might be a good idea to refuel mid-session so that you're not taxing your body and you're able to make better progress. Mid-workout fuel has been shown to support both muscle building as well as performance and endurance. Fueling after your workout is also just as important as before and mid. Carbohydrates after a workout are great for recovery when paired with protein. Pre-workout is not a good idea after working out, but natural sugars like honey and fruit will help build muscle and restore glycogen levels without the sugar crash that candy will have. Post-workout carbs need to be paired with protein to balance blood sugar because you're no longer active and the protein is needed to build the muscle you've been tearing during your workout routine. Want to know more about protein and how much you should be having per day? Head to our channel and find our videos on optimal protein numbers for you and your lifestyle. Whether you're glucose or fructose, candy or natural nosh, both perform as well as the other in terms of getting the most out of your training. We hope we managed to lay out the details so you can choose which one you'd like to experiment with. Are you Team Sour Candy or Team Natural Nosh? Let us know in the comments.